Yes, it's about acute myeloid leukemia. And as you know, patients with acute myeloid leukemia that undergo in the beginning of the, in the first phase of the disease, several courses of chemotherapy. And what we have done is to develop an immunotherapy after the completion of, of chemotherapy to, uh, to prevent relapse of AML in the post-chemotherapy phase. And uh, you know, relapse is a, a major course, cause of death in this disease, I think, especially in younger patients. I assume that relapse is the major cause of death. Still, there are few efficacious methods to avoid a relapse. So once patients have completed chemo, they're normally free of leukemia from a m microscopic point of view, but there is sometimes residual leukemia. And immunotherapy thereafter aims at just uh, reducing or uh, eradicating those residual leukemic cells, and that's what we do. In this abstract, we just show that um, um, patients who have, uh, where the initial chemotherapy has been efficacious, they are much more likely to respond favorably to the immunotherapy with, as in this case, supline and IL-2 in combination, supline IL-2. We did a phase three trial that was published some years ago, and what we did for this particular work was to define which patients responded and which pa patients didn't. So, and we identified this particular aspect of, of induction chemotherapy, uh, that if, it, if patients achieved complete remission after one induction, then the immunotherapy was much more efficacious. The, 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 the primary endpoints or the endpoints of the trial are, as in many of such trials, uh, relapse risk and overall survival. And uh, so what we did was to monitor that sequentially over time and uh, noted that the rate of relapse was much lower in patients receiving supine IL-2, provided that the initial chemo had been efficacious. I think one conclusion is that this uh, trial identifies patients who are likely to respond to supine IL-2 therapy for remission maintenance, but it also defines patients who should go on to other therapies, maybe experimental therapies and such. For the design of future therapies, future immunotherapy for, for AML, similar therapies, then I think that this particular group of patients where the initial chemotherapy has been efficacious is a much better study group to define efficacy. Older patients um, overall responded relatively poorly to spleen IL-2, whereas the effect was very pronounced in patients below 60 years old. I think that we need to redo this study uh, in, uh, in this particular population and uh, define further which patients are, are suitable for treatment and again who should go on to other therapies.